Hello and welcome to the Crochet Business School podcast. I'm Kelly Thomas, the Crochet Profit Queen, and I'm going to show you how you can make a living from your crochet while avoiding the burnout and being able to make what you want and when you want. Have you signed up to the Crochet Business School newsletter yet? Don't forget to do that now at crochetbusinessschool.com forward slash subscribe and get tips and free resources straight to your inbox. Sometimes there's no time to pick up your hook. You might think when you have a crochet business that you're going to be crocheting all the time. But there are times when you've just got to get all the admin done. Because there's a whole host of other jobs that need doing. You need to uh, post on your social media. You need to be emailing your newsletter list. You need to write up your patterns. You need to make blog posts, videos, take pictures. Whatever it is that surrounds your crochet and however you're profiting from it, there's a whole host of other jobs that need doing. And sometimes that just means that there's no time for you to pick up your hook. And this is where I am right now. At the minute, I'm updating a lot of blog posts. I'm updating the content for my membership, the Hookers Academy, because I want to make it better and make my website better, get all my blog posts up to scratch. And having all that admin work to do means I just don't have time to pick up my hook right now. And that is the nature of business. If you're a pattern writer, you have to spend time editing your patterns taking the pictures that are needed. You might be recording videos to post on YouTube. You might have blog posts associated with it. You're going to have social media posts to write. You need to engage with your followers. You need to write your newsletters. You might be creating pins to put on Pinterest. Crocheting is actually just a small portion of a crochet business. Now, if you're selling what you make, it's a bigger portion. Because you have to crochet so much in order to get the orders. But then you've got to put it to one side and you know, do all the marketing on your social media. You need to interact with your customers. You need to have new things to make and promote them. you still got to take all those pictures. So there's still a lot of admin to do. But that is just, that comes with the territory. And it's the same for any type of business. You know, no matter what your um, the service that you're selling is, you still have to do all the things behind the scenes. So you've got to plan all this in. So I've planned that for the next two months, I'm not releasing another crochet pattern because I don't have time. I've actually got two sitting waiting to be written up. But because my plan is to get my membership sorted, and new content created, get my blog post updated, because that's my plan now. I have to wait and put it to one side. I have set my priorities out to work this way, because this is what's going to work for me for the rest of the year. Of course, I'm going to pick up my hook again soon. I just can't do it right now. And that is just how my business has worked out. Is it hurting me to? not pick up my hook. Well, it's not hurting my business because that's still functioning. I've got that planned out. Do I want to personally pick up my hook? Of course I do. I, I've got it sat next to me. If I get a spare five minutes, I'm, you know, sneakily crocheting away. But the plan doesn't allow me to. And the thing about having a business is that you have to stick to the plan. It's a job. You're trying to make a living from it. So you have to stick to your plan. It's not a hobby. And sometimes that gets forgotten that when you decide to make money from your crochet, that your working hours does not include your hobby. The crochet that you're doing for your business is not you time. It's work time. And sometimes that means putting your hook down even though you don't want to. It might feel like having a crochet business is a great excuse to just crochet whatever you want, whenever you want. 
that's just not how it works. Because you can do all that crocheting, but if nobody knows about it because you're not doing the social media, because you're not sending out the newsletters, because you're not taking the pictures, because you're not getting on Pinterest, because you're not making the videos, if you're not doing any of that, then the time you spend crocheting is wasted. Because nobody knows what you're doing. Nobody knows what you have to offer. Nobody knows what you do. And so to be able to show off your crochet and make the profit that you need, you have to put your hook down. You have to do the job. You have to do all the things behind the scenes. And sometimes that's difficult. Because when your business is what you love to do as a hobby, you just want to do it. But you do have to be disciplined with yourself. And just put your hook down for a while. And when that creative side of you just wants to crochet and just wants to get it done, it can be hard. I won't lie, I would just love to spend the day just crocheting away and forget all the admin for a while. They're still going to be there waiting for me. Plus, whatever I need to do, because I've not... No, that's been added extra, because of the time I've spent not doing what I should have done. So you've got to find a balance. You've got to find a balance between doing the crochet that you love and telling everybody else about the crochet that you, your fabulous makes, your fabulous content, so it can be discovered and appreciated by everyone. And so that sometimes that means having a plan and sticking to it. Right now, I'm sticking to mine. And it's frustrating because I've got a half-finished design next to me. I'm literally looking at it now. It's staring at me. But I've got to leave it alone. So I can get everything else done. And, yeah, sometimes that's it. it sucks, really, <laughs> because you just want to crochet. But having a business means having some self-discipline. And it, sometimes it doesn't involve as much crocheting as you want. But that's where having a business that suits you comes in. I mean, could I crochet a lot more? Yes, I could if I changed my business. But I'm not going to because... This is the way that works for me. I've done trial and error over the years about you know, what's going to work best for me. And it's me personally. The way I set up my business probably won't work for you. You would have to tweak it somehow. Because I have two sides to mine. I've got my pattern business and I've got crochet business school, the coaching side. The coaching side doesn't need me to crochet at all. It needs me to show you how, what I'm doing with my pattern business, but it doesn't need me to actually crochet. It's all the admin side. So I do have a lot more of stuff like that to do because of crochet business school. But Frogsy Frog, my pattern business, that doesn't need me to crochet all the time either. You know, a designer does not have to be constantly churning out patterns. You, know, you don't have to release one a month. Sometimes you only release three, four, five a year, depending on what suits you. And so I, I don't actually release a lot of patterns every year. That's just how it's worked out. I do spend a lot of time blogging. I spend a lot of time on Pinterest. I spend time making videos and editing them. But I've set things up the way that works for me. If you want to crochet more, but don't want to be chained to making orders all the time to do that, you can. Pattern designers can churn out as many patterns as they want. It just depends on what you want to do. Bloggers, you know, crochet bloggers still have to crochet because you need something to blog about. Crochet YouTubers still need to crochet because you need something to make videos about. You get to design your business your way. You get to decide 
how much time you spend crocheting, and how much time you spend on admin, and all the back end stuff. But you do have to have a balance somewhere, because if you spend all your time crocheting, then how is anybody going to know what it is that you have to offer? What it is they can buy from you? What it is they can watch that you, you are creating? You've got to balance it out. Otherwise, no one's going to buy from you. No one's going to watch your content to, that you can make money off. Because if you're not doing the back-end stuff and telling everybody about what you do, growing your business and getting your eyes, you know, a new audience coming in to see what you do, then it's all for nothing. You've just got a hobby again. And so sometimes you just got to fight the urge and put your hook down for a while and get the the admin side done. You got to get the social media posts written. You got to record the videos. You got to get your pictures edited. You got to get it out there. Grow your newsletter list. You still have to do all these things and you have to make the time for it somewhere. And inevitably that means Got to put your hook down. Your business needs balance to work. It needs you to crochet and it needs you to do the other stuff. And trial and error is the only way that you're going to work out what works for you and what works for your crochet. So I hope that's given you some things to think about. And as always, if you have any questions, please do come to the Facebook group. The link is in the show notes. And you can ask any questions you have about your crochet business there in our friendly and supportive community. So thank you for listening. And I shall see you next time, next episode. Bye for now. <laughs>